hello beautiful souls welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing great yes so guys it's a season of love and celebration in the family of oladepo as the lead singer of destiny kids musical band that blessed our hearts with lovely music that blessed our childhood with inspirational music has put to bed she has welcomed a bouncing baby boy in canada with her beloved husband Dio. she made this known on her instagram page where she said leveled up from being just coupled to being parents god can be trusted welcome to the new level baby then she tagged her husband massive congratulations followed with this post because this is someone we knew as in this is someone that grew up in our eyes she grew up together with her siblings in our own very eyes and it's true what they say like the young shall grow so right now the young has actually grown and our favorite kid gospel musician rejoice iweze aka joy 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 is not just a wife but now a mother recall that rejoice iweze got married to her beloved husband temitayo samuel oladepo otherwise known as Tayo or Tiblis on the 16th of November 2022 and the white wedding was held in Onicha Anambra State on the 19th of November 2022 and their marriage is now happily blessed with a bouncing baby boy. I am happy with this news because at least everybody can rest now. Those who have been dragging Rejoicey Wazey left right center can put their mind to rest now. I remember when Rejoicey Wazey got married, when she posted her engagement pictures and videos, people were dragging. People dragged her so much, accusing her of getting pregnant before her wedding. People were like, oh, how could you? How could you get pregnant before your wedding? You that has been preaching, you that has been talking to people to abstain from um, husband and wife activities till after marriage, you went ahead to get pregnant before your own wedding. It was a lot. It was a lot, a whole lot that Rejoice Iweze, who has never really come out to debunk anything or to talk about rumors like this, came out and she talked about it after her wedding. She wasn't happy about it at all. And this is not even the first time people are dragging her for getting pregnant. When she was still a child, when she was, let's say when she was maybe a teenager or thereabouts, she was also accused of getting pregnant, of giving birth to a child. The rumor was all over the place, all over the news back then, back in the days, I can still remember very well, that she got pregnant, that Rejoice Iweze got pregnant, and then they were booming, then they were the talk of the town. People were like, how could you, how could you get pregnant, you that is a gospel artist, you that is this, you that, so it was all over the news, and she came out to debunk it, she came out to, she was even crying in that video where she announced that she is not pregnant, that she has never been pregnant. And as if it will end there, it didn't end there, it all continued, the dragging continued. Even after her marriage, people were like, oh, Rejoice Wizzy is pregnant and she's hiding it. And I'm very sure that the reason she concealed her pregnancy till after birth is because she has been accused so much of getting pregnant. Everyone was looking at her and trying to figure out whether she's pregnant or not, watching her every move and everything. So I believe she concealed the pregnancy because of the whole dragging. And right now, we can all rest now because she is now a mother. She has now given birth. So we can all rest now with the pregnancy dragon and pregnancy remorse. Anyway, massive congratulations to Jessie Wizzy and her family. Kindly congratulate her in the comment section. Wish her well in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.